small businesses focus on getting more traffic. But what if I told you that there is a smarter way to increase your revenue without spending extra on marketing or advertising? Now imagine for a second if your prices could adjust themselves automatically based on demand, customer behavior, or even your competition. All of this on autopilot. Well, guess what? Now you can. Big companies like Amazon, Uber, and Airbnb have been using dynamic pricing for years to increase their revenue. Now, for smaller businesses, it's always been unachievable until now. All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how flex pricing changes everything and how it will help you to drastically increase your revenue without driving more traffic to your website. Okay, let's get started. Very good. So right now, most businesses use fixed pricing. So that means a set price for each product on their website, and then they hope for the best. Now, this brings two different problems. First one, you're leaving money on the table by pricing too low, or you're losing customers because your prices are not high enough. So what if your prices could adjust dynamically based on real world factors? And that's exactly where flex pricing comes into play. It's an AI-driven pricing system that optimizes prices in real time, so you always charge the right amount at the right time. So as a quick example here, you could create a pricing rule that raises your price by 10% for shoppers in areas with medium household income over 150000 per year, while lowering the price by 10% for shoppers living in areas with medium household income below $75,000. And here are all the different pricing rules that you can put in place. So as we just saw, you can base it on the shopper's income by shopper's attributes. So for instance, what type of operating system they're using, time and date, stock and shipping, and also soon to come AI based. Okay, now let me show you how this works from the back end. Excellent. So for this, all you have to do is go to the flexpricing.com website. As always, I'll leave all the links in the description below. Click on this magic button here, get started. And once you've signed up, you'll access your flex pricing dashboard. And this is where the magic happens. So for this, we need an e-commerce website. So I have one here, a demo website. So let's pretend you're selling cosmetics online. This is your website and you have all sorts of different prices and all sorts of different products. So now how can you apply flex pricing on your website? Well, it's very simple. So first we go back here for a second. And the first step obviously is to connect our store. And all you have to do is basically follow the steps. Step number one, download the zip file and save to desktop. So let's do that. And now we can take care of step number two, upload this to our WooCommerce website. So we go to our WordPress dashboard, we go to plugins, add new plugin, and select the file we just downloaded, choose file, upload, install now, and activate. And now we need to link it to our flex pricing dashboard. And for this, we need to add an API key. So we go to settings and right here, as you can see, we need to insert the store API key. So we go back here and we fetch the API key, which should be here. So select all of this, control C, control V and save changes. Now you can test your connection as well, just to be sure. And we are successfully connected. And now we can start creating our pricing rules. Now, bear in mind that it might take a little while. As you can see, wait 30 minutes for product catalog to import into flex pricing. So depending on how big your product database is, it might take up to 30 minutes. So let's give it a little while and then I'll come back to it in a few moments. Excellent. So it's been at least half an hour now. So let's go back to our dashboard and see if everything has worked properly. Excellent. So as you can see, our connection status is indeed connected. And as you can see, total products, we now have eight products. So if you go to the product section, Excellent. So they're all here. So again, we've only eight products on this website. And if you go to WooCommerce, you will find out that these are the exact same eight products that we have on our e-commerce website right here. Okay. So now let's set up our pricing rules. And for this, we have two different options. You can click on pricing rules, in which case you'll create your own rule from scratch, or you can use one of the pre-made pricing rules available to you right here. So let's click on this one first. And we have six different options available. So income-based rule, shipping distance-based rule, inventory-based rule, device-based rule, TOD-based rule. So TOD stands for time or date. 
and then state CPI based rule, so the state consumer price index based rule. So now we can use any of them, obviously. So let's start with the very first one, for instance, here, the income based rule, because obviously this is a big one. So let's put this to the test. OK, so copy to my store and confirm copy. Excellent. And as you can see, this is the complete breakdown of the conditions to fulfill this rule. So how does this work? As you can see, the condition is if the income estimate of location is greater than 165,000. OK, so this is our condition. So what will happen? Well, then you will increase, not decrease, increase the price by 10 percent. OK, so this is the first condition that's part of our rule. And obviously you can add as many as you want. So in this case, we have a second, third, fourth and fifth. And they are broken down in different layers of median income for that household. As you can see, this is the maximum. So over 165, between 125 and 165, between 75, 125 and so on and so on. So that's basically how you can create your rule. And then you can set each layer as an increase or decrease the price by a certain percentage like we have here. And then we have the add or if condition as well. So let's add another one together. OK, so let's pretend they would be between 30,000 and 49.99. And then anything below that would be minus 15 percent. How do you do that? It's very easy. Add or if. And now we can set up our rules. So in this case, it'll be from anything right up to 29,999. And here we're going to increase that to 15% discount. And this would be to target any household with a median income below 30,000. And once you're done setting up your conditions, scroll down the page and save your rule. Save. Very good. As you can see, we've got a confirmation. This has been successfully saved. And now if you go to your pricing rules, you will find the rule we just created together. So there is income based rule. Now we can create one from scratch as well. So let me show you how you go about this. So let's create a new one together. So let's give it a name. So perhaps test and then test Mr. Web. OK, and then create. And now we can create our conditions. So if what exactly? So click on this. As you can see, you have all these different options here. So if the estimated income of users, so we've covered that already. So you could have if the user's operating system is or isn't. OK, and then you could have different type of operating system. So we have Android, we have iOS, Mac OS, Windows or anything else. So this could be Linux or whatever other operating system are available on the market. So this could be very helpful if you're selling software, for instance, maybe Mac OS might be more expensive than Windows. Also, usually Apple products are more expensive, which means they have more residual income to spend on your product. So you might increase the pricing slightly as well. So let's discover the other options here the distance from my store so let's say if the distance from your store is greater than let's say perhaps 50 miles or per 100 miles it is very likely that the shipping cost would be more expensive and to cover this you might want to increase the price slightly as well so next option is state user is in and again here it could be one off or not one off and then you can select the states on so the 50 states here are all listed up so you can select any of them and obviously you can increase or decrease the price by a certain percentage so next we have the zip code that the user is in so now you can break this down even further not just by state but also by zip code and again is one or is not one of and then you can increase or decrease the price by a certain percentage and then we have the units remaining in stock so that's a very interesting one actually so let's say for instance if the stock quantity is less than and let's say less than 10 units then this items becomes a very desirable product in which case you might want to increase the price by maybe 15 or 20 percent and then finally we have time and date rules so these are pretty self-explanatory you know you have date month day of the week time or holiday so let's say maybe during the weekend you want to increase the price slightly maybe over five percent or something like this you can select specific days so let's say on saturday and sunday you're going to increase the price slightly because people are in the weekend mood and they are more willing to spend a little extra money very good so to put this to the test we're going to set one together here based on the state the user is in because then we can use a vpn and i can show you how the prices will be impacted okay so let's say the state here we're going to select one of them maybe arkansas okay and if it's arkansas we're going to increase the price by perhaps 10 percent okay and let's add a few more states okay so let's select another one here so instead of arkansas we'll have maybe new york there you go and we can delete 
delete this one and if it's new york gonna increase the price by 25 percent let's say you and then let's add one we will decrease the price so let's say maybe someone from dc so i'm going to select washington here there you go in which case we're going to decrease the price by let's say 10 percent okay just like this and then scroll down the page save your settings save the rule very good and once you are done setting up your rules you need to assign them to your products so we go to the product section now and right here as you can see the pricing is active is set to no at the minute so this is the next step we need to take care of so you can assign rules by specific products just like this or you can bulk select them all and then select an action apply pricing rule to the selection and select your rule so i'm going to use the test one here okay so apply confirm and now there's one more step to take care of work select them all again and then set selection to active confirm there you go and now we can put this to the test in the front end so i have two tabs opened so this is our actual website as you can see this is the home page with the eight products that we have so we have the different prices 40 60 45 40 and here 25 30 55 and 45 so i'm going to keep this open as a reference point just to see how the prices will be impacted by the location and then on the next tab here we have this one open as the shop page as you can see a different layout so we know exactly which page is which and we have the same pricing obviously at the moment so what I'm going to use now is a VPN to change the location. So let me drag this here. So as you can see at the moment, I'm based in Ireland. So I'm going to select a new location. So I'm going to select somewhere in the Americas, in the United States. And let's go with New York as an example. So like we said, if we select New York, it should add 25% on top. So let's enable this. And now we are simulating a visitors from New York. So let's refresh the page and let's scroll down the page so we have the first one anti-aging skin toner 49.99 and the original price was 40 dollars which is exact so this one was 60 and now 74.99 this one is 59.99 and it was 45 as you can see it's increased all the prices by 25 percent because at the moment we have a visitors from New York on our website. So let's go back to our rule for a moment. So we can clearly see that this condition here was applied to our pricing structure. And obviously it would work the exact same way if the customer came from Arkansas or Washington. So let's go back to the front end for a second. You may have noticed that those prices are rounded up to $49.99, $74.99, $55.99, which is actually nice. The original prices we had were rounded like this, 40, 60, and 45. Now, again, this is just a matter of preferences. I'm going to show you how you can take care of this in the back end as well. So if you we go back to your dashboard, you go to store settings. And here you can select your rounding strategy. So I have three of them here. As you can see, a rounding strategy number one, as you can see, is the nearest 9 cent on the nearest 99 cents. So 26.43 becomes 26.39. 2644 becomes 2649 and the same with those two here underneath so 29648 becomes 29599 and 29649 becomes 29699 so again the nearest nine cents on 99 cents and then rounding strategy number two which might be more suitable to us since our rounding feature is to the nearest 10 cent which is exactly what this rounded strategy is all about or you can select no rounding altogether that's really up to you so as you can see this is a very powerful solution and yet super user friendly now if you face an issue don't hesitate to contact their support team all you have to do is to fill out the form and they'll get back to you very quickly so clearly fixed pricing is outdated i mean big companies are already using dynamic pricing to increase their revenue and now thanks to flex pricing you can too very good so if you're ready to start increasing your revenue effortlessly well you can try flex pricing by clicking on the link in the description below as always thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one